Okay, a little bit of important information. Um, when reflowing a GPU, this is what one of the GPU chips looks like. This one's an ATI. Um, when, it, when reflowing these chips, I know some people put these in an oven. Very bad choice. Uh, when you put these in the oven, um, there's a couple things that happen. Uh, these components that are on the board, the rest of the components that are on the board can actually be affected by the heat. That can damage other chips, that can damage, you know, melt some of the plastic that you have for, like, say, the uh, keyboard lock, um, some of the other cable locks, um, can really cause a lot of damage. Also, when you put them in the oven, the whole board itself will actually warp. You're actually warping the, the different layers there because the gold um, actually expands at different temperatures than the board itself. So with this, what you're actually doing is you're not really even melting the solder. You're actually just warping the board, making it make contact. Now, in some cases, if you put the board hot enough, 450 degrees or higher, you're actually going to have a problem with gravity. It's going to actually make all these different pieces here that are on the back side of the board fall off. Even if you put it on a piece of cardboard or even if you make a mold and try to hold it in place, you're going to start loosening things and then all these little solder joints on the ends of these um, resistors and capacitors, you actually run the risk of getting cold solder joints on these or making the joints so that they're not actually um, seated properly. So it's just a really bad choice to put these in the oven. Now one of the other things that people do is they put these, they're, um, they use heat guns. They will actually put foil all around the rest of the board, um, put a heat gun to this, let the heat gun run for X amount of minutes. Bad choice again as well. You're going to blow off the capacitors on the rest of the chip. All the way around the side, these are capacitors. Um, these can come loose. If you lose one of these, it's dead. You also, even though you put copper around or uh, foil around the whole board, um, you still run the risk of the air getting through the the foil and actually removing some of these other c components around here. You do have some other chips. You've got some IC chips. Um, you know, different chips that are on here. Everything can come loose. Now, another option is to use a uh, flame. Use a torch. They put you know foil all the way around everything except the die and we'll hit this with the torch for X amount of minutes. Heat also can, you know, go underneath that foil. It can cause all these other capacitors and stuff to blow off the chip. Bad choice. Very, very bad choice. Also, if you're using flames, you're obviously not using flux underneath the chip because the flux is flammable and you catch the whole board on fire. Flux is an important uh, component to use to get a good solder on, on underneath the chip here. Now, one of the other options is you put a quarter on top of this with a little piece of uh, solder on the quarter so that you know that once that solder starts to melt, the quarter is hot enough to melt solder, which will heat up the die. The die, in theory, should be hot enough to you know, melt the solder underneath. Still, again, you're not going to get a good solder that way. You're only heating up the center of the die, not the whole chip. And you run the risk of that heat going underneath the foil and everywhere else causing you know other components to come off the board. You really need to use the correct machines. You need to use flux. You need to make sure that you get a good seat on this chip to the board so that way it'll last a long time. A lot of the time it's actually not overheating above 400 degrees that causes the solder to come loose. It's actually just getting it hot rapidly and this glue will actually hold the chip in place. The center will warp and it actually will break the solder from it actually warping because of the way the temperature is changing and this glue is holding the chip in place. So, you know, it's it's not that these things are getting over 400 degrees, they're just breaking loose. So you need to use flux, get a good solder underneath this, make sure this chip is set in there correctly. That way you'll have years and years of good um, solid usage. It'll perform really well. Get rid of the silicon pads. Those silicon pads are horrible. They actually can burn when they burn they dry up and just like you know when you're cooking without oil you burn pieces without actually transferring any heat so get rid of the silicon pads get you some copper shims use some good thermal paste um, and you know like I said just do it correctly